Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about nursing babies with colic. Uh, doing anything with babies with colic is just really challenging. So let's talk about colic for a moment first. What is it? Well, you can tell by the name. It just sounds old, doesn't it? Colic? Why do we still call it colic? Because we don't have really a great idea what causes it. So we haven't given it a more sophisticated, more scientific name, but we can describe it quite well. Colic is inconsolable crying. It occurs in infants almost never before the 42nd post-gestational week. So if you have your baby at 40 weeks of gestation, it usually takes a couple more weeks before colic kicks in. If you had a premature infant at, say, a month early, then it's going to take six weeks before the colic starts. If your baby came two weeks late, he may be having colic the next day after he's born, but that tends to be when it starts. Colic peaks at about six weeks of life and then starts to trail off so that after about three months, very, very few babies still have colic. The time course is important here. So if you have a four-month-old who's crying inconsolably, sorry, that's not colic. You've got a problem with that baby in all likelihood and need a doctor to evaluate him or her and figure out what's going on. Likewise, if your baby got born yesterday at 38 weeks gestation and he's crying his head off, I wouldn't count that as colic either. Get it checked out. Colic occurs with inconsolable crying. We define it as three hours a day, at least three days a week. Often the crying is at a predictable time, usually in the early or mid-evening hours. Almost nothing seems to make it better. It will make you tear your hair out because it seems like the baby is in tremendous pain and discomfort and there's nothing you can do. Now, a lot of mothers will try to do what soothes babies, which is to nurse the baby. If your baby will nurse at that time, great, congratulations, fantastic, go with that. However, don't be surprised if your baby doesn't want to nurse or wants to pop on an awful lot during these colicky spells. That's not unusual. That can get really frustrating, too. And if you have to go more than a few hours with nursing, you may be starting to get really uncomfortable. So trying to have a breast pump on hand, an electric hospital-grade breast pump, is your best bet. But any breast pump is better than no breast pump because you don't want to get engorged and start feeling a whole lot of pain yourself. You already have a crying baby, right? Now, there are some things that may help colic. According to a book by Dr. Harvey Cart, The Happiest Baby on the Block, uh, colic may be aided by swaddling the baby relatively tightly with his or her arms right at the side, by rocking the baby or jiggling gently, not forcefully. You never want to shake a baby forcefully, but just a gentle jiggle by putting the baby over on his tummy or her tummy for a little while, only while awake, never sleeping on the tummy. That is dangerous. It causes sudden infant death syndrome. Uh, by shushing loudly in the baby's ear. Those may all, oh, and by giving the baby something to suck. And the best thing, especially for a nursing baby, is to take your finger and just pop it in the baby's mouth. That makes the best pacifier of all. So doing all those things at the same time may help. Now there is some interesting research on the role that certain probiotics play in preventing colic, particularly bacteria that come from the mother's breast or the, brother's, the mother's breast milk or from the birth canal. So having a vaginal delivery and breastfeeding may make it less likely that your baby is going to have colic in the first place. But if your baby does have colic, just know it's not your fault. You don't have to fix it. You can put that baby in the crib, walk away, calm down, have a warm cup of tea, take a bath, whatever makes you feel better for a minute, rather than getting super frustrated. That's going to help you. It's going to help baby. You're probably going to nurse better. So be sure, remember, even in those moments, take care of yourself. The baby is going to benefit as well. Talking about nursing a baby who has colic, I am Dr. David Hill.